Hey folks, Daverage Gamer here, back with game four of season four of the Hot Corners franchise mode. We've uh, had a rocky start to the season, and speaking of rocky, we need to get Rocky out and Esmeralda back into the lineup here to see what we can do with game four against the Freebooters. They they crushed us the first time we played them, right? Nope, we just lost last game. Just kidding. I knew we had played them, so that's why I was thinking of them. Lineup looks good. We are not starting Rachel. We're going to go back to Yolanda, who's ready to go for game four. Ego's at 59. It's... Like I said, a rocky start, up and down. We're one and two. We're in second to last place in our division. We certainly got to improve things here. And let's see if we can do it with Geronimo. Takes ball one up high. Really high. Hopefully we can get something going and, and not have a really bad day on the mound. Full count here to Geronimo. Jammed inside, maybe. That was lucky. But if that's what it takes to get a base runner, we'll take it. One on, nobody out for Dirk. Just, uh, you know, about a minute too soon. One on one to Dirk. That was right down the pipe. Is that going to get to the wall? No, it's not. It's well hit, but there's an acre of space out there in center field. Let's see what we can do here now with Jeb. Got to get something going. Takes a low strike one. A looping ball. Jeb is tense. We got to... Well, not doing that would go a long way to not make him tense. Boy, the way this season's starting off, if it continues like this, we are absolutely going to blow up this team <laughs> in the offseason. We, we are going to clear the decks. Hey. Or, you know, just lower the ego. <laughs> just kidding. It'll be a situation where we, we get rid of some players. Not that it's their fault, but just take the opportunity to... Push the old reset button. Esmeralda says clear out of the way. Person on deck. All right, two down here in the bottom of the first. Let's go a little slider. Okay, okay. Here we go. Two and one. Ripped to center, but Geronimo has got it for out number three. So we go top of the second with Bo, who has not, not shown too much this season. Did have the homer in the beginning of last game. Solid rip there to center. To get us our first base runner of the second inning. Esmeralda back in the lineup after taking her customary day off. After, thank you for dropping that one, sir. Esmeralda get basically in the lineup for two games and then out for a game to rest. Nobody out here. For Bucket, takes a looping ball. That was high. I should have laid off of that. I don't believe Bo is fast enough to tag, so we're just going to stay. That's a good throw. Alrighty, Ivor, one down, two on. Let's go. Well hit, but not not far enough, and we're not going to tag on that one either. Guy's got a good arm. All right, we're going to strand two unless Dax can get something going. We'll take a ball down low. We'll take a high strike instead of popping up. That was one we should have swung at, and I would have if I wasn't talking. Oh, tapped. <sighs> not exactly the... Uh, power shot that we were uh, hoping for. But that's all right. Yolanda's on top of things on the mound. One and two the count. To Guns Jackman, popping it up and out of play. 
trying to find the corner and she does gets it still haven't figured out if that's a polite gesture a, a tip of the cap or a rude gesture of ah, buzz off pitcher you be the judge patience evergreen likes likes to bat against us that's for sure it's probably batting 900 against us eee. all right let's try and let's try and spice things up a little bit let's throw some different pitches what do you say oh look it doesn't matter <laughs> okay we'll overplay that I don't know why we threw that to third especially out of play there all right we're down one nothing which is customary so far this season so what else should we talk about besides the game on the field <laughs> chewing gum uh in the zone what other advertisements do we have going on back there ripped jeb can't make the play i couldn't have waited any longer to dive or else he wouldn't have gotten to it i don't think but clearly i still dove at the wrong time let's go up top here two on and one out two strikes here let's go over here popped up out of play though bucket not able to get to it that was nowhere near all right tapped dirk's gotta get over and cover the bag that might be the best play second and third with two out here let's see if we nah that's not not close enough guy's batting 400 anticipated oh dirk that's gonna lead to two runs dirk okie dokie three nothing score wait this will teach you to take about a week off of recording games and playing because i have just been bad since starting up this series again amelie takes ball one or strike one then ball one one on the count eh. slightly golfing that one so an easy easy play when it's all said and done three nothing the score geronimo up with one out thanks low ball two ball three something i was gonna say something to hit but they chose to walk him on four pitches let's go dirk time to get something going not with that pitch though I can take that. That's okay. One and one. Two and one to Dirk. You know, it was right down the middle. And I didn't wait long enough on the swing. Hit it right at third baseman. Little adjustment there for Yolanda. One and two the count to Stockton Brickhouse got him got him with the strikeout dropping a slider in that he crushes foul Whew, boy you know I'm just kind of shell-shocked from getting hit so easily and so often so far this season not had a real dominant pitching performance one and two now let's see if we can drop, drop that in there got him to swing at it strikes out two in that inning we go to the top of the fourth still down three to nothing okay swung about an hour early on that one come on jeb just lean into one two and one the count three and one another walk bad flip completely unnecessary one on nobody out for Bo Belter and 
and that's the way the story goes so far this season. So, you know, we could lower the ego again. I don't really want to. But, you know, it's not, uh, I don't have to win for it to be fun. But I have to feel like it's a possibility that we can win, right? That has to be part of it. I don't want to go into every game and knowing that I'm going to lose. And it will get better. I will find my groove here. But until then, it would be nice not to be scared every time they swing the bat. Hey, buddy, how about you not, you know, not swinging something? Jeb says, I got it. I say, way to go. But we ran into this at the end of last season a little bit. You know, it's just, it doesn't, we'll take the, Yolanda will take that tapper for out number three. And we go to the top of the fifth at the bottom part of the order. But we got into this at the end of last season. To where, you know, it was just not being, it wasn't fun. Ooh, just, just stand there and, you know, take it. Bucket rips one up the middle for a leadoff single. Just setting the table for Ivor to ground into a double play. It's coming. Here it is. Wait for it. Takes ball one up high. Ball outside. All right, come on now. Good pitch. Two and one. Let's go. We'll take a free base. Be really hard to get a double play now. Wouldn't put it past me, though. Nobody out still. Another walk. Just wanted to set the table for another walk, uh, another double play. Two on, nobody out for... I don't know. I don't know why. I really don't know why. That was a terrible decision. Plain and simple. That was an utterly terrible decision. Amelie takes ball one. And strike one. Not really going to ever swing at that pitch. Or that one. Two and one now. Reached for it. And there's your double play. Alrighty. Go to the bottom of the sixth. Still losing three nothing. You know, I think we may lower the ego if the score or the game feels pretty much the same the rest of the way. I can get a strikeout when they decide not to swing, but uh, a lot of the time they uh, do swing, and it's a problem. Can we keep it in play? No? All right. Good effort there from Dirk, tracking it all the way. Gotcha. Another strikeout for Yolanda. Eh, sure. And we'll just start mixing it up a lot. Anticipated. Why would you anticipate that? Why would you anticipate that? I've thrown like four sliders all game. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to lower the ego after this game. And I know there's a way to do like, uh, what is it? You can, you can split the ego. You can have like, you're, you're hitting at a level, you're fielding at a level, the pitching at a level. And adjust it that way, but I, you know, I haven't had any problems along the way. And I don't mean like, you know, losing streaks. I'm just, you know, over the course of three seasons, three plus seasons, I've slowly increased the ego all the way up. And I haven't lowered it that much. And maybe we've just gotten to the point where it's a little too high. Who knows? The game knows. The game knows it can throw me high cheese or really bad pitches and I'll just swing at it. So, <clears throat> one on, one out for Jeb. Not swinging at that. Top of the sixth inning, we're running out of time to do something. I can hit the microphone though, sorry about that. Now the 
trying to sit up sit up on it a little bit here. Bo Belter with two men on. Takes a ball one. Thankfully he didn't hit that to somebody. We're gonna we're gonna stay, cause Yeah. Probably would have been thrown out. Esmeralda, grand slam to tie the ball game right here. Not on that pitch. Please, please, please. Hey, we got one. We got one. Loaded still for Bucket. Takes a looping strike there. Okay, everybody hustle. Everybody hustle. We're getting lucky with some infield hits here. Grace Lupinovich. Okay. Ivor, what can you do? Still only one out. Takes ball one. Base is still juiced. That's all right. One and one. Two and one. Ooh, come on now. Come on now. Ivor with the grand salami. Ay, 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 ay. First home run, six RBIs on the year, makes it a 6 4 ball game. All my comments were still valid, or are still valid. One crazy inning where we hit, hit balls off of two people. That slid like 10 feet. Anyway, two down here for Amelie. That's not good. All right. But one inning where we uh, throw Yolanda's a little gassed. Where we uh, hit balls off of two infielders to keep a rally alive. It's not, you know, not something we can rely on every game. We can rely on that generous strike call, that's for sure. But let's pull. Let's pull her. We got a chance here. Let's go Winter. Feel more comfortable with Winter than I do with Brosif Joseph. Joseph Brosif. It's the first time I mixed up his name, I think. Tapped over to Jeb. Makes the play for out number two. Oh, patience. Didn't want to jinx that at all. <laughs> We get out of the six. We go to the top of the seventh with Geronimo in the top of the order. Can we get another rally going? Instead of... Nose is itchy. Instead of just swinging away there, I adjusted the bat a little bit. For some unknown reason, and we pop that one up. And I just take my thumb off the left stick. When we're swinging, put it in a spot and leave it and take my finger off and perhaps not swing at bad pitches one and one too early also too early but the seventh inning stretch alright Oakley Stiffs always happy to be there good shades good smile Rips one to the corner. Amelie says, stay at first. She's got an arm out there. That's that's helpful because her, her bat is uh, not very good right now. Reminds me of the person she's replacing in right field. A one Seymour Sox. Who was finally giving his, given his marching orders. Esmeralda says, I got it. Route number one, Mojo up on Winter. We'll take that. Dolph Steak batting a cool 100. Got two strikes there quickly. Thought I might be able to get him with that. Kaysen Dropkin. A lot of power. Power versus right-handed pitcher. Okay, well... Um, sure. 
Got him to pop it up. Geronimo? You, you got it? We're going to catch it facing the other direction. Boy, remember when I said they were, they patched the, uh, the issue where they don't let you know that they've got a bead on the ball and they're going to catch it? I, it seems like one of those times where that could have been helpful. Ripped right at him. One out here for Esmeralda in the top of the eighth. She rips one to center for a one-out single. Wash Compton coming in. Got some juice and some junk. That's a nasty pitch right there. One and one, though, to Bucket. Laced right at the center fielder. All right, two down now for Ivor. Mr. Grand Salami taking a strike one. No, no flinching there. Two and one now. Three and one. We got two outs here. Now we have three. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Winter looking all right. Locked in. Jeb. One of these days would be great if he made a play. But he has missed pretty much every play. Every, every play that requires him to dive, he has not done a good job. He's going to lose his uh, the human vacuum cleaner moniker. I don't see how you could keep it if you're kind of bumbling along at second. Dirk calmly grabs that one for out number three. We go to top nine. Oh, Dax. Batting 267 on the year. Probably should have just laid off of that one. Don't you think, Dax? Absolutely should have laid off of that one. Bad hop. Still gets to it. I'm only spending 357. I don't know how that's possible. One and one to count, though. Okay. Two, two and one, I or one and two, I suppose. Two and two now. Tapped up the middle for a soft liner and a one out single. All right. Jenna Yago. <laughs> Curve, cutter, and straight speed. Takes ball one here with one down. Felt all right to swing at that one, but it's all right. One and two. It's a good pitch. Jamming right inside. Not much to do on that one. I uh, moved, moved my bat a little bit. I don't think that one's got the distance. Would have been nice to get something there. Winter locked in. We'll stick with you. Until there's a reason not to. Mm. Yeah, just trying to figure out if, when to when to throw the slider with this guy. Let's do this. That worked out pretty well. Oh, patience. All right. Well, you can't win it with one swing. So you know what? Oh wait, you like inside pitches? Not that much. You're gonna swing at that though. Let's go. Uh, it's not. Thank you for tapping that foul. I appreciate it greatly. And up the middle, Ivor makes the stop and gets the put out. All right, two outs here. Ripped to Ivor, who snags it and gets out number three. Okay. Okay. An unlikely inning full of two hits off of other players in the field. A six run sixth inning capped off with a grand slam from Ivor. 
You know, it is what it is. I don't like Yolanda's ERA. That's not been impressive this season at all. But you know what? It's a victory. We'll take it. We're still a game back. Run differential is, is a problem. But you know, it is what it is. All right, Dax, minus three power, but lots of speed. We don't want to take anything away from your bat. Chan 10 chance to lose. High pitch. No. Poke. No. Ooh, mechanics tune up. That'd be a good one. Hmm. Dig. Nope. Bucket. Boy, these are all expensive. That's a problem. Because we're not getting that much money each game. Okay. That's a lot of accuracy. We gotta do that one. We gotta do that one. But how much... Uh, what do we get? What do we get each game? Let's check that real quick to make sure. 1.125. So... We have to have more than 70,000. We'd have 65,000. Yeah. Two will get Knowles next game. And we would have that if we got Winters now. Boy, we must have been absolutely out of money. <laughs> okay. A contact would be good for Bucket, but I think the investment into Winter, having that accuracy to go along with the velocity is huge. So, fingers crossed, 14 accuracy would be awesome. So let's get one. All right. Four is good, too. And compose. We don't, we don't need it. All right. We got four. We'll take it. And we'll take the victory, too. We're two and two now. We'll be back with game five soon. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.